and drips away Days burn disintegrate Years roll along and fade Don't let them slip away Right here, right now, today These are the good old days Right here, right now, today Hey, these are the good old days Just over a year ago, we started the Go Figure channel and since then, we've been acquiring action figures, fixing them up, and growing my personal collection. One of the things that we, as adult collectors, deal with is our real estate. She's beautiful, she's rich, she's got huge tracts of land. As in, the amount of space we have to display and contain our collections. I, for one, like to display my action figures. I like to see them. I don't like to have them away in boxes and storage. So it's very important to me to be able to have the space to do that, and to do that in a pleasing way. The action figure line that's grown the most in the last year is my Masters of the Universe collection, and getting dangerously close to completing the whole line. But as that line gets bigger and bigger, and because the sets and the figures and the vehicles are so big, they take up a lot of real estate. So I've had to get creative with how I display my Masters of the Universe collection. So a few people through social media have reached out and asked how I create my Masters of the Universe display. It's just so happened that I've changed my display around a little bit. So today I'm going to walk us through the steps I take to create my Masters of the Universe display. Come on, Battle Cat. An Eternian snail can move faster than this. All right, so first off, you've got to figure out where we're putting our Masters display. Um, we're going to be putting this one on top of three IKEA um, glass cabinets. The supplies that you'll need are some drawer organizers from the dollar store. And if you're not using these to display your figures in your cabinets, you're missing out because they are awesome at that. We're also going to need some of this faux uh, garden fencing. And then we're also going to need some green bristle board, as well as a hot glue gun and a large piece of cardboard. Now this one's way too big, but any large piece of cardboard from a box would be fine. So what we want to do is we want to cut the cardboard to fit exactly on top of our three cabinets or wherever your display is going to be. So I've cut this down to fit exactly on top of it. And then the next step is to place our big playset. So I'm going to place Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain kind of where I want them to be eventually. And then I'm going to mark out um, kind of around them a little bit of standing area. We're just going to cut away some extra. So now we're going to take um, a knife or scissors, whatever it is, and we're just going to cut it away. So we have something that looks like this. Now I've printed out some rock terrain kind of textures. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around them, uh, cut them out kind of unevenly, no straight lines, to kind of mask the, uh, the seams you're going to do. And I'm just going to kind of like make a collage of these rock um, textures on this cardboard to kind of just give it some some life and uh, make it look a little better than just uh, plain cardboard. And again, if you're cutting uh, not straight lines, it really hides the, uh, the seams well. And the, this looks great. I'm really excited and happy whenever I do this method. It works really great. So just using a glue stick, we're just going to glue down these, uh, these papers to this cardboard. And once we have them all glued down, we'll trim them up and we should be off to the races. Once we have our platform covered, we're just going to flip it over here and we're going to take these uh, acrylic drawer organizers, we're going to use them as support posts. So I'm going to put um, one in each of the four corners, uh, just going to hot glue them in place and they're going to hold just fine. And so I'm going to put again one in each of the four corners and then two kind of in the middle for support. And we should be good to go to have kind of a sturdy, uh, sturdy base for our second tier of our display. Once we have our supports in place, we're going to take out our uh, faux fencing or our garden fencing that looks like rocks. We're just going to cut away the pegs that hold them to the ground so we have this strip of a kind of rock. And then we're going to hot glue it onto the edge of our uh, display here. It takes a little bit of um, manipulating to get it on there, 
but it's the best. And I actually find it's best to flip your display over on the side so you can have gravity working for you. And I just put down um, some hot glue in different stages and just line it along the edge of uh, our platform. And you get a look that really fits in nicely with the Snake Mountain and Castle Grey Grayskull kind of motif of uh, Motu. And uh, I think I think this works uh, really, really well. I'm, I'm always pleased with how, with how this turns out. And once we have that attached, uh, we just have to cover our front supports here. So I cut some fencing down to two or three bricks, depending on the size of them, and just, again, glue them into place. And you have a real cool looking aesthetic that uh, really is consistent with the whole look. Once we have all our supports covered, just put it in place and it should fit perfectly because we've measured it. Um, the next thing I like to do is I like to take that green bristle board and just put it in behind. It kind of matches the gray skull aesthetic. Then it's time to place your big castles and start loading the figures up. There's a step-by-step -step on how I create my masters of the universe display. It's a great use of space and I think it looks really great. Now, if you do something different, send me some pictures. I'd love to see. Masters of the universe is such a cool line to display and collect. I'd like to see how creative everybody else gets when they display theirs as well. If you like what we're doing, if you had a lot of fun, do the subscribe, bell, the like, all the YouTube stuff, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.